today I thought it might be fun to basically make myself blush on camera again. So fun for all the family. I've been compiling a list of words that are okay to say in America, but if you say them in Ireland, yeah. Before I get into the video, just to let you know, I'm gonna be doing a live stream on Wednesday with a big announcement. Ooh, mysterious. So be sure to come and chat with me live and get in on the action and chatting with the rest of the community. Also, subscribe, otherwise you're gonna be cursed with bad breath and you won't know you have bad breath, but you're gonna be that person who has bad breath and nobody wants to be the person who has bad breath. Ew. Coming in at number 10 is the reason that I chose to do this list today. It's when I put up a picture on Instagram and I was trying to make a nice picture, but then I realized I just wasn't in the mood to do a nice picture. So I was being a messer and I put that in my caption. Cut to most of the Americans being like, what's a messer? Why does she mean messer? Oh my God, she said messer. I've just realized that this word is actually the reverse of this list, but we're gonna leave it at number 10. The rest of them are words that are rude in Ireland. Oh, yeah. Well, the word messer is rude in America. In Ireland, the word messer means like just somebody who's a bit of a joker, uh, a bit doesn't take themselves too seriously, stuff like that. In America, messer has its own category on Pornhub. Why? What did she, did she just say what I? And other similar websites. I didn't mean it on my caption like that. I meant it in the innocent way that I'm just a joker, but yeah. Okay, realizing now that number 10 is completely not related to this list, let's move on to number nine, which is actually a part of this list. And number nine is the word bangs. So in America, you say bangs for like a fringe. We say fringe, which is the hair that you cut on the top of your head. And you know, it's an alternative to getting Botox at a certain age. Bangs always come in and out of fashion, but when in Ireland we hear you guys say bangs, we just think of, Ooh, banging, bangs. That's gonna be on the internet forever. Yeah, so in Ireland, banging means, I was gonna say riding, but that was covered in the other list. Banging is the act of when a person is attracted to another person and they get together and they, I'm gonna put this the way that my friend was explained to this as a child, do a special kind of wriggling they bang. So when you guys talk about bangs on your head, your hair is banging, you bangs. It's just funny to us in Ireland, because banging. The next word that's rude in Ireland, but not in America, is the word shag. Well, you guys talk a lot about your shag pile rugs. I have a shag in there. There's a shag in the living room. Oh yeah, it was a great shag. So this one's actually British and Irish. Shag again means, no, I'm not doing it again. The act of two people making love. Sometimes more than two people. Sometimes more than two people. I should have probably mentioned at the beginning of this video it's not suitable for under 18s. Some of you are here anyway, so. We do have the term shag pile rug in Ireland, but it does make us all kind of just go, <clears throat> and that's the word shag. Well, I guess she got so flummoxed she completely forgot to record number seven and number six. Number seven was pants. When you say pants in America, you mean trousers. We mean underwear, tee hee. Number six was period. When you say period, you meant full stop. In Ireland, period is the ladies time of the month, tee hee. Carry on with the list, incompetent on camera, Diane. The next word is something that actually people say when they're trying to be PG, especially around kids in America, and they say, oh, it just went all willy nilly. Willy. Yeah, okay, so willy is a, a part of the male anatomy. The part of the male anatomy. Not that other parts of you aren't important, like your brain. Yeah, yeah, man. Oh, Jesus. I've also heard Americans say, oh, you silly willy. I'm like, oh, God, <laughs> you know. It's, yeah. Will Smith, when he came out, people would say Big Willy style, and that always made me laugh as a kid because. Yeah. Willy's rude word. Willy just means. Like, I don't know that I can say the words on YouTube. Not that I really want to. But yeah, you might use your Willy when you're shagging or banging. Oh, God. 
please support this channel. I'll never get a job in an office after these videos. The next one is one that kind of threw me because I don't think it's a word that people say a lot in America, but it definitely has a different meaning in Ireland. In America, things that might hold up your trousers include belts, belts, okay, and also suspenders. So suspenders are the things that hold up your trousers and go from there to there. Mork used to wear them on Mork and Mindy, I guess. That's a point of reference. No, 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 no. That's an obscure point of reference. Yeah. But in Ireland, suspenders are exclusively the things that hold up ladies' undergarments from her panties to her stockings. So they hold up your stockings and they're pretty much exclusively used when you're trying to be seductive. I don't know what this is. Rah. Yeah, so we do not say the word suspenders to hold up our trousers in Ireland. We just don't say it like that, you know. The next one has such a different meaning in America and people use it in films and stuff so we've kind of come to terms with the fact that that's what you use that word for. Uh, it, it's a word you have for a wound and it's a, it's a gash. So a gash in America would be like you've hit your head on something and you have a big open wound. Not necessarily your head, you could have it on your leg or something as well. I, I, you've got a wound. But in Ireland, a gash. Well, I guess I get why it originated from that term. But oh God, my parents watched this. A gash, it's your lady area. And I guess if you think about it, you can also see why it's, it's called a gash. Gash is like kind of, I wouldn't say a derogatory word, but you're definitely not with, you know, somebody that you highly value if you're calling it their gash. It would be kind of used as a slang term for the lady area. The gash. A gash. To gash. The next word is one that I exclusively discovered on YouTube and I don't appreciate it. You might mean it in a pleasant way, but it's not taken that way. It's the word thick. So in Ireland, the word thick can be used in two ways. And actually I've had misunderstandings with people as well. In the city, we mostly say you're thick, means you're stupid, like don't be so thick. Like you're a dumb, you're a stupid person. But in the countryside, they also use the word thick for like getting thick with somebody. So you might be getting angry with somebody. So thick or are you being thick with me? So are you being antagonistic toward me kind of thing? They mix it up all over the place in Ireland, but basically that's thick means one of those two things. In America, thick means curvy. So you've got curves or boobs and a bum, that kind of thing. And the first time I saw this was in a fax video I did. Uh, and it was one of those ones where they, oh, they did a full body shot and everybody was commenting, Diane's thick. And then I went and looked it up and I appreciate that they meant it in a nice way. But to be honest, I just don't really love people commenting on my body. I appreciate that I put myself out there on the internet. But you know what? Commenting on somebody's body is just crass. I just think it's crass. Can you keep your thoughts to yourself? So yeah, thick is supposed to mean like curvy in a good way, but uh, and the number one word. <laughs> and oh my god. Oh, just ruining a nice thing, really. It's just something I see printed on a lot of children's things. And it's just so inappropriate. Um, <laughs> but it's the word Mickey. And in America, Mickey is a very famous cartoon character who has been merchandised and makes a lot of money for the Walt Disney Corporation. We also had Mickey Mouse growing up and then we didn't know what it actually meant, but yeah. In Ireland, the word Mickey is another word for a man's phallic area. Oh God, I'm gonna have to find more ways to describe these things. So yeah, when you see t-shirts that say, I love Mickey, or suitcases that are like Mickey around the world, Today's video has been brought to you by Maturity. Yeah, we have great fun with you guys' use of the word Mickey sometimes. Um, but you know what, that's what happens internationally. We use different words for different things. So yeah, those are some words that are normal in America, but are rude in Ireland. I, I, yeah. Today's video is brought to you by a couple of patrons. 
The first one is Jason Moyer. This is a pic of Jason and his son DJ when DJ was five months old at his first ever Halloween. Jason hopes you all had an exciting and safe Halloween and good vibes your way, Jason, because I know you are finishing up that dissertation right now. The next person I want to shout out is Francisca Beck. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. This comes from Kevin Swigger. He says she is an amazingly talented actress, playwright, songwriter, singer, poet, and artist. So all around really talented. The link to her Instagram is in my description box below. Apparently she appears in a German film called Immigration Game. I love an L foreign film sometimes. Thank you so much to all the patrons as ever this month. If you want to see a little bit more about what goes on behind the scenes and in my mind, it's a dark and strange place, you can check out Patreon. That's it for today's video. I do hope to see you in the live on Wednesday and I'll talk to you then. Bye. So today I thought of one. Before I get into ten, before I get into the video, so be sure to join so be sure to join me. So be sure to come and chat with me. So be sure to come and chat with me live. So be sure to come and chat with me.